Hi and welcome to another video from one of my Udemy courses. I hope you find this video informative. To view the full course and get big discounts off the full price, please see the link in the description. I want to go into some of my favorite features and tools that I use almost every time I edit a video. The first and most obvious one is just the video player controls. And the only one that I really use is the play button right here and the pause button. But as you can see, when I click play here, the timeline starts to move. And that line, that vertical line, shows you where you are in the recording. And you can hear my voice is about to come on. Hi there, and welcome to my course on how to create a Udemy course. And then I can pause it, and I'll be right where that is. Now, in this case, you can see that I had a lot of blank space at the beginning of my lecture. This gray arrow and this line shows you exactly where you are in the video. These green and red arrows allow you to select a chunk of the video. It can be one second long, it can be two minutes long. So I grab this green slider and I can just open this up all the way back to the beginning and I'm just going to basically cut out all of that dead time right there. Being able to select sections of your video that you want to edit in some way is one of the most important things you can do. So I've selected the beginning of my video there that's just dead time and I'm going to go to this cut button and this is another one of the most frequently used features. So I just click on that cut button and it chops that whole dead space section out. And I can click play now and it's going to start right into the video. Hi there and welcome to my course on how to create a Udemy course using Camtasia Studio 8. So you can see that that's kind of my introduction. And then you can see all this blank space here because at that point I went brain dead and I had to stop and think about it. But for me, it's easier to just let the video keep running while I'm thinking, so I'm not clicking pause or stop or trying to fuss with all the controls because it's so easy to edit that out later. So you set the arrow at the end of where I stop talking, and then you just grab the red button and you drag it all the way to where the next voice blips are, and you click cut again, and that takes all of that dead space out and brings the next section to where you are. Now you click play. In this course I am going to teach you how to create an entire Udemy course about your chosen subject using nothing but your computer or laptop, a microphone, and the Camtasia Studio software. So then I formulated enough thoughts to speak for another 10 seconds. And then you can see I kind of ran out of ideas again. And so what I do is I grab this cursor and I drag it up here, click play again. I'm going to show you some really cool and unique techniques that you can use in Camtasia. Okay, now this brings me to another point with audio. Listen to what you can hear right here at the end of what I said. Do you hear that? It's like I suck in air, I breathe heavily. Those sometimes drive me crazy, but it's easy to just take that and also cut it out. Or if it's a pause, it's a space that you wanted to have there, but you just don't want the sigh in there. You click the audio here, and then you go to silence, click that, and it will silence that section that you've selected. Now when I click on this again, that you can use in Camtasia, and see how that's quiet now. So that's basically the cut and the audio. Now you can also, if you have a spot where you're sort of almost mumbling, but you need to keep it, you can go highlight it and go to volume up and just increase the volume of it. And every time you click this, it just increases it a bit. And then if I go back here, you'll, you'll hear the difference that you can use in Camtasia. Hear how that's amplified? And obviously you wouldn't want to do that in this case because all of the speech is fairly uniform. But in a case where a segment of your speech is either lower or higher, sometimes you'll actually lean into the mic and kind of blow out the mic. In that case, you can diminish the volume 
to make it match the rest of your audio. Now one thing I didn't I did that I didn't explain to you is this little thing right here. If you grab this and slide it all the way to the left, it's going to basically zoom out on your entire video and you can see now my arrow is way over to the left and it's showing the entire video now, all the way up to 12 and a half minutes. And as I grab this and slide it to the right, it's just going to zoom in on that and now you can see if I go all the way in you can see it's showing from about 20 seconds to about a minute and 30 seconds so it's only showing about a minute and 10 seconds worth out of the 12 minutes but the beauty of that is you can zoom in really tight here and you can pick out individual words so for instance I can highlight just this word right here Camtasia so those three big bumps are the word Camtasia and that can be very helpful for editing out things especially like ticks if you do like a with your tongue or ums especially so it just sounds smooth and professional and quality so that's how you highlight sections of the video to edit this is how you cut those Another thing that's really, really important that you will use a lot is the undo button. Or you can do control Z. Let's say I cut out the word Camtasia. And then I go back and play this that you can use in. Well, now I'm missing that word and it doesn't make sense. So before I have a heart attack that I've ruined my video, all I do is click undo. And you have to click the undo button twice most of the time when you've deleted something. So on the second click, you'll see it brings that back. Okay, now let's talk about zooming and panning because this is another really common one that you're going to use a lot. Let's say I just wanted to focus on this image in the upper right hand corner where it says Camtasia Studio. I can grab the corner of this and I can just drag this all the way up to that image. Sometimes it takes a little fussing with it to get it kind of right where you want it. But that will focus right in on that image. You'll notice how this like stretched out arrow was created there. What that arrow is doing is it's showing you where the zoom is. So if I go back to here, I'm not zoomed at all. And at this little white bullet point, that's where the zoom starts to happen. And as I progress through the video, you can see that it's zooming in slowly and panning over to that spot. And then when I get to the end of the arrow, this bigger dot, then the zoom is done and I'm at my destination. So if I play through this for you, there's the zoom. Now the cool thing is you can stretch this further, you can shrink it. If you stretch it further, then the zoom is going to go slower. See how it took a little longer there? And if you shrink it down, the zoom is going to go super fast. Okay, so you can manipulate when and how you zoom and pan to different parts of your screen using that very simple technique. If you don't like the way that you zoomed in here, say for instance you wanted to just zoom right around this wording, then you can just go left click on that and then right click on that and then click delete. That'll get rid of the animation and then you put your arrow back to where you want the zoom to happen and then you can redo where it zooms. So this time I'm going to drag these all the way in and just center it right around the words here. And you can grab these zooms and drag them too. So click play and it's going to zoom all the way in. And let's say I want to do it nice and slow. Go back here again. It's still not very slow. Let's go really slow. And then bam, you've zoomed right into that spot. So that's the zoom. And then callouts. Let's talk about callouts. A callout is basically something that you put on the screen to draw attention to part of your screen. But most of these like thought bubbles and these kind of big ugly arrows I don't use or any of these. But when it gets down to here you've got some arrow options. So if I want to for instance say this is a, a video by TechSmith. 
like I'm trying to emphasize somehow that it's by TechSmith. I could put this arrow here if I wanted. And see, that's going to point to TechSmith. Maybe I'll even drag it over a little more like that, right? So, and you'll see it, it puts in this whole call out thing here. And if I zoom out, you can see this is that call out. And when I click on it, then it's allowing me to edit that. And as long as my arrow is over this section of the video, I can see it on the screen up here. If I move my arrow off that section of the video, then I won't be able to see it anymore. And that makes it difficult to edit. So you always want to make sure your arrow is over the spot that you're trying to edit. But as you can see here, this light blue section is a transition. And if you look up here, it says properties fade in and fade out. So we're fading in this arrow and then we're fading it out for one second. And you can change this. You could fade it in slower or you can fade it in faster. But say we're just leaving it at one second. I'll play this for you. You can see what happens. There it fades in. And there it fades out. So if you want to shorten the time span of that, you can just you can move your arrow away. You can just put your cursor on the end of it and grab it and drag it either direction so you can shorten it or you can lengthen it. And it'll show you when you hover over it, it'll show you how long it's lasting. So it says duration, three seconds. And then when you go back and play over it again, quickly fades in, quickly fades out. The other one I use quite a bit is this circle. So I'm actually changing the same one to a circle and then I'm going to straighten it out. I'm going to hold this over my circle. There it is. And you can stretch this thing to fit kind of whatever dimensions you want. But again, if I'm wanting to emphasize the TechSmith logo for Camtasia, then it will do the same thing. It'll fade in, circle it, and fade out. And of course on that one, I'd probably do that longer. So I do it like this. Circle it talk about it a little bit and then when I'm done talking it fades out. The one other call out that I love is text. So for instance if I wanted to say I love Camtasia Studio up here actually well so I've just gotten rid of my circle and I've changed it to text. Oh wait hold on let me undo this. Okay so I have my circle there now I want to add another call out, right? And I want it to be text. So I click on text. And I'm going to have that call out happen just after the oval starts to circle. So I'm just layering images and effects on top of each other. And that's what these tracks are. The bottom track has the audio and visual. The second track has these callouts. The third track has another callout. So I'm going to hold my cursor over the text so I can see what I'm typing. I'm going to size this box to what I want it to be. Place it up there. And then I can just say, I love. And then I can highlight that, change it to a bigger font, change it to a color that shows up and to whatever font you think matches. And I won't go into that in a lot of detail, but you can left justify it, right justify it, center it, bold it, whatever you want with that text. But then when you click over here, you'll see what I just laid in there. So now as I play this, talking about Tech Studio, it circles it, and then I say, I love Camtasia Studio and then fades out just like that so that's call outs and by the way I'm not in any way affiliated with or representing Camtasia Studio or TechSmith just wanted to make that clear but I do love Camtasia Studio and that image just happened to be on my screen so that's why I'm using that as an example so that's an overview of my favorite features of Camtasia Studio, the most important ones in my opinion, and the ones that you will use over and over again as you're editing your videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. 
If you want to check out the full course and get some big discounts, check out the link in the description below.